All right, hello. We have a game with our chaos here. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got a lot of money to spend, considering we're a 1300 team. Okay, so they are going to just s sort of destroy us off the field here. This is the kind of team uh, that is why you don't get up to high team value. This is this is what you come across all the time in the open league, because you can just keep throwing uh, players in there. So this should be pretty nasty. I don't really think there's a lot we can do about this. Uh, I suppose a wizard makes sense. And let's see, I think fouling is legitimate. So I think a bribe. Uh, there's something to be said for a babe to get some guys back. We got 30k. Uh, maybe we go double babe. Um, what have we got to lose? And then we just stamp on them every time that they pile on? Yeah. Alright. I, I want to use more of my money, but I don't... I'm trying to be fair. I don't feel bad about going the extra 20 k. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes. I fear for us though. This is this is classic chaos build. Now, obviously, we are going to try and hit M every chance we get as well. They got the attack as well, which is bad, so they're going to deal the initial damage. So we are just putting uh, Beastmen on the line. The less Chaos Warriors that get kaputted, the better. He actually really has not got a lot of guard going on here. One, two, three guards. Okay, okay, that's interesting. You're going to be on the line, you're going to be on the line, and you are going to be on the line. Um, in terms of sacrificial guys, I th honestly think that... No, I think unfortunately Skunk has to go up there. Uh, we're going to keep Boar up here as well, and I think we're going to keep... Stay. Are we going to keep Boar? I really want to. I w want to have that guard kind of utilizable. But yes, he's going to have to because there is nobody else. This would be a sad time to get our team wrecked because our team is just on the cusp of uh, being really nice. All right, that's uh, that's our setup. The reason I'm willing to sacrifice Stag here is he's actually not that useful in this matchup. He's got a... D wow! Okay, he took the old double, uh, the double foul. That, because that's, you rolled, that's an agility skill, he rolled that on a double, that's impressive. So he's going to be fouling like nobody's business. Uh, so what's his, his monitor is on value 9. Oh, I want to claw him real bad. This is a game where you turn off all the skill, all the basic skills, and you still <laughs> have a ton of skills. This is the first time we've come up against a team for a long time where we've had this much money to spend. Uh, we just have to hope that Claw doesn't work that well. Uh, unfortunately, Claw does work really well, so... I've never wanted to be Wood Elves more. Blodgy Wood Elves against this team? You're actually not in a bad place here. Uh, you might, you know, you still have to worry about the mighty blow, but they actually don't even have block on half their team. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but like, yeah, on a fair amount. Is he going to ball carry on the strength four with a movement five? I guess he can. I think I'd want it on the bludge though. I know, strength four is pretty handy.
extra reroll, so he can uh, he can do some greed rerolling, which uh, is most unfortunate. Let the carnage begin. <laughs> that did not take long. Uh, yeah, by raccoon. There goes our first into the into the night. First roll of the game, dead. That's that is pure chaos. And not in the way that we want it to be pure chaos. It's a pretty intimidating start, you gotta say. I guess we should have coloured our team red. It's much more uh, scary than our nice green. Oh, he's got Frenzy, that's interesting. Okay. That's not, that's not actually weirdly not too bad. Oh, this guy's got Arm Value 7. He does not want us hitting this guy with our claw. If Stag moves, we can hit him. I don't know. I don't think we necessarily need to hit this guy. I think there's better targets. One of them is laying down. He's protecting his guy that fell over. Going after Boar. So we put Boar up there because he's already down to armor value 8, so... I think we go after his guard. It's weird. But I think we try not to contact him too much. And we go after the guard. Uh, let's see... You'll do... And then we try and stamp this guy. Very nice. Uh, let's put you there. Come on, we need you to do some epic work here. Uh, yeah, we'll pile on for the uh, care. I mean, you know, the hopeful. There we go! Revenge is sweet. Alright, and now we can stamp on this guy. Uh, I don't know who with. Probably Toad. Meh. No, actually, probably Badger. Hang on, did I get my own way there? I did kind of get my own way there. Uh, so no, I think we do go with Toad. I'm going to get Rabbit up, which I hate. But we need to cancel that assist. Come on. There we go. Okay, I didn't even see what injury he got there, but we have taken him off the field for now. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. We've used his apple already. We've uh, removed a guard. Jump up failed on his uh, guy there. It's very nice. You need a guard in here. This guy would have to come across. Oh no, the mine is can actually. Sweet. Okay, if he doesn't adjust back over this way... Is he, oh, he's going to foul our guy. Okay, fair enough. Okay. 
going for the, uh, yeah, he's kind of got to play the numbers a bit here. Uh, is that Toad? Yeah, Toad sign. This is kind of a numbers game of which team dies first. I always should. Now, does he abandon this side and keep driving down this way? No. Okay, he does come back to protect the mine until... Depending on how many guys he throws over here, then we stamp on this guy this turn. Okay, where is that? Has he... Did he... Oh, he's still gonna... He's still gonna foul us. I keep forgetting that. So we... I don't know how we're gonna roll this, but... Boy, it's hard to see anything in this game. Okay. Hair is injured. Uh, oh, he's actually injured. So we have now used our... Both Apos out. So from this point on... Oh, he did get the send-off, though. Sweet. So from this point on, it's uh, everybody's dead time. I think I am going to blitz the Minotaur down. Oh, well, I mean, hopefully. Uh, are we... Maybe we just hit him with that guy. We still have enough guard to... One, two, three, four. Do we... Let's see... Oh, because he has guard, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's just knock him over. Or try. If we don't knock him over, I guess we'll try and hit him with this guy. No dice there. We'll just place him back. And sorry, just trying to decide where to go here. We want to give him as least hits as possible here. I guess we try for this. Very nice. On the armor value 7. Oh. Still nice. Very nice. Okay, how many guys can we get around here? We can get a few. Well, I mean, we've got a bribe, we may as well try. Oh, that's a pity. Um, we'll try for that. Okay. So yeah, that was a really bad foul. But we did injure somebody on the first one, so... So yeah, so far he has two out for sure. We have one out for sure. Both Apo's gone. It's interesting. Looks like he's going to keep blitzing with a minor, which is... Uh, I mean, it's good when it works. Oh, he tried the reroll. Nice. So the best he can do now is knock him over with this guy. No, hang on, he has jump up here. So he can actually... I forgot this guy has jump up. That's all the more reason to fail this guy. He seems to be ignoring the ball a little bit. Well, I guess that's kind of safe. Uh, not anymore. Unless he's... Okay, he's gonna he's gonna hit this guy down, and he's gonna jump jump up, block one of these guys. Fair enough. Uh, very nice. So we could get a one dice block there, potentially. Um, oh, we still have this guy to foul as well. Uh, 
I think we come back in here and try and leverage our guard. Very nice. Uh, two dice here. Unless the miner decides to hit. Oh, this is a bit scary now. This may be into a one die. Yep, mistakes were made. I forgot about the, uh, the guard here. So we've wasted our opportunity there, which I'm really sad about. I w the, the reason I did that was I wanted to clear the path to foul this guy, but no. I have made mistakes. Uh, they have two blocks on us. Two blocks is ample, unfortunately, to remove our team. Did I have anybody good to... Yeah, this guy... No, yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know if we could have got this guy free to to uh, stamp on him without dodging, honestly. Is he gonna... No, that would still be a two dice. Okay, he is eating his rerolls. He's definitely going for a... I'm gonna make you not be here any longer. I don't know what any of his names mean. Alright, so going for the... Okay, yeah. He's just going to push him away. Now, we don't have any mighty blow, so there's something to be said for just blitzing in here. They do have a guard here. Are they, no, this guy is guard. This guy doesn't. So if I bring in two guards... I can hit through onto the ball carrier. Um, uh, maybe I should have done that. I don't know. No, because, yeah, I was going to do that anyway. Uh, I could bring a guard in here. Uh, he does not have block. He does have block, unfortunately. Do I just... Yeah, I think I do. I'm actually going to follow this. And then we're going to see what happens with this. Oh, do we keep using ours? No, because we're in an okay... We'd be in an amazing position if we knocked this guy over. But we didn't, so we're not. So maybe they can tip around this way, but they have a lot of guys down. They do have more blocks on us this time, which is unfortunate. Oh, I have a wizard as well. Probably should have remembered that. I don't know if I'd have used it yet or not. So I don't know how extreme he's going to get. Uh, dodging is a thing, though, so that's why we're kind of saving our rerolls. Yeah, he might change direction. Man, if the monitor just got up. And Badger's in trouble now. Is 
So we may not have a ball carrier. Let's find out. Oh. What are you doing? Coming through the middle. Okay. Okay. Down goes Wolf. Is he going to let that go? Probably should. That's a risky place to move to. I'm not saying he's not going to get rid of Boar, but... Um, that's a 50% dodge, man. Come on, Tail. Okay, go away. Yeah, I wasn't going around that way. Okay. So you are getting up. You are getting up. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I could get a guard in here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's a GFI. Which means Okay. I think we're gonna put a guard here as well. Yeah, I don't like putting this guy on here. No, let's just pop him back. Very nice. Okay, solid. Badges around as well. Now, can he pick this ball up pretty easy? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he can definitely clear some stuff here, but we're just trying to stop him from scoring, let's face it. I mean, okay, he's still piling on as well. He's he's still going for, like, breaking our team, which is definitely a tactic. But it's not outside the realm of possibilities that we could score in his half here. Oh, he's piling on so hard. Yeah, he's definitely going for the concession by not having enough guys. Because now, by doing that, he doesn't have the guard on this guy anymore, so he has to bring somebody else around. Put me here, because he's not right next to the ball. He'll be okay with that at this stage. Should be able to pick this up. If he doesn't, that'd be amusing. What else can he get over here? This guy... These guys are a bit in the pickle. Okay, that's, uh... Yeah, that's ballsy. Yeah, take that. Okay, that is interesting. Because that means we could th put a theoretical scoring thread up. But let's see if the wizard goes off first. Oh, the KO is nice as well. A 
Okay, so scoring threat up. Uh, you know what? I think we want him this way. Or do we want this guy out of the way so that we can come down here? Three, four, five, six, seven, and then drop it back to whoever's here, which would be nobody. Oh, it could be this guy. That makes things more awkward. Could do that. Because I don't want this guy in a tackle zone really here. Just trying to stand up as many guys as we can. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, I mean, you know, obviously scoring would be uh, amazing, but we're mostly going for uh, stopping them scoring. You kind of want to turn a non-score into a score when you use the wizard, but it, you know... Oh, man, a bad roll here, and good, the half would be good as over. As it is... Oh, we did use this blitz there. This is a very one-track mine team. So I could have left it on this guy, but I didn't want him to, like... You know, find a way to surf him out. I mean, even if he just kind of, like, comes down here and claws him up, that's a... What? What? Come on, bring this guy down here to, to do this hit. Okay, now I was hoping. Oh, he has jump up. That's very nice. Okay, he got up there. Okay, we knew that was a problem. Oh, that was... Uh, well, Moose. Oh, he's piling on despite the KO. Turned it into a stun. That's that's why generally people don't do that. I'm not saying he shouldn't have, but... Okay, so I can't get anybody... Could potentially get this guy up there. I think we're going to play it a little safer than that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you definitely can't get in. Okay, when I say we're going to play it a little safer than that, I mean we are not going to play it a little safer than that. I think we're gonna... What are we gonna do? Because <laughs> this isn't a great blitz as it stands. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, this guy's out of scoring range. Okay.
Is it the best plan in the world? No. Okay, so it doesn't matter how far we go. So I think we go here. And we just lob it and hope for the best. What are we on? A 5 plus? Yeah. Well, we made the pass, so he's on a dodge out with no reroll here. I expect it's going to work. Yep. Come on, fail something. Okay, he failed something. Uh, he's going to stand this guy up, though, so he can't... He is not. Why... Why... Why wouldn't you? Because now we get a two dice split. So all he had to do was move across and he'd have... This team is so confusing. Come on, the push will do. That's even better. Come on, injure him. <laughs> we did. <laughs> okay, that's nice. No long term effect, but pretty satisfying all the same. Yeah, I think we just go in. <sighs> this game. Okay, so here's here's going to be the issue in the second half. We're going to start getting more injuries on us. Uh, also, depending on how many ones we reroll on our KOs, because I think we had like m half our team KO'd. His came back. Of course, one of ours didn't. That's that's classic uh, buying babes. So he rolled two sixes. We, for some reason, rolled one here and then our other two down here. Um, trying to work out what might be the reason. The order they went out in, I guess. Anywho, so does he have a full team? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, he has nine. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten currently. Okay, so how are we going to approach this? Um, he's hidden his piling on, guys. Put some guard in the middle. Uh, we do need a bit of coverage on the sides. I think I'm gonna slap wolf. I mean, boar over there. So who's sitting out for now? Wolf. Isn't this? Wasn't. I'm trying to remember. I feel like staying out on KO was kind of Wolf's thing that he likes to do. Um, Dove, do we want you here? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Classic Minotaur kickoff. I guess they're good kickers. Losing a turn is fine. The kickoff is okay-ish. Uh, it does mean we can concentrate on hitting people. That's why we went after him. Um, sure, let's pile on. Okay. Then we will try and gather around that, if uh, if it lets us.
Very nice. I guess I could go for the Minotaur here. here. It's the three dice. I wasn't going to. Well, I think we've seen why uh, why we didn't. Well, why we shouldn't have, but we did. So Stag goes uh, sleepy. I mean, what can you do against such things? But the good news is he. <laughs> we even had the might blow, and he didn't. Stag, you. No offense, but you are the worst minotaur since Ox. Uh, we didn't try and get the ball, so we played a little bit like, like you know, chaos there. Uh, we should go and retrieve that, because if he does manage to sneak around the sides, I mean, it's something to bear in mind. We do have this guy at least well positioned. Uh, whether he'll try and come around and be annoying, I don't know. Yeah, that does make sense, actually. See, sh look at that. That's how you do it. Show him how it's done. I mean, don't show him how it's done, because we want Boar to still be here. Okay, Boar's still here. Okay, so we do need to worry a bit about the Boar now. I mean, the ball. <laughs> we don't need to worry about the Boar. Okay, okay. That's not as aggressive as I thought they might be. And the good news is they didn't come and try and stamp on uh, hair here. Hair here. Ooh, I might try and hit this guy. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it does. Uh, let's move in here with our main force. We're just trying to, like, even if we can just reduce them by another one or two. No, never mind. I'm not going to greed that. Okay, nice. Okay, now we're going to try and retrieve the ball. If he gets over to me... Well, just congratulations, honestly. Um, could happen. Okay, where's the blitz coming? This guy, I guess? On this guy. There we go. He's just trying to cancel this assist because he's got to make sure that he's still strength four to hit this guy. So is Hare going to finally meet his maker? This is. He didn't reroll. He is surprising me the second half. He's kind of changed tack a little bit here. In an interesting way. Oh, Frenzy. Okay. I take... Okay. He'll reroll this one then. I forgot Frenzy. Uh, he's going for the pylon for the armor break. No armor break. All right. Yeah, you are proving to be an enigma. Yeah, this is why I went after this guy. We're going to go after him again as well. Uh, maybe. This is also a problem. No, nope, we can just stand him up again. But yeah, this guy, this guy could not only come and get the ball off us, he could then score, so... 
I'm going to keep working on him. Maybe he'll dodge this guy out, but it's, uh, it's on a 5 plus. Okay, he will, yeah. He is not afraid of that tail. Um, Stag is going to stand up. Skunk is going to, unfortunately, keep taking hits. Uh, I actually kind of want to push you back that way as well. Oh, disappointing. Do we reroll into the dub skulls here? Nope. We play it sensible. And I think we are going to keep tackle on him there. I'm trying to kind of go against my heavy temptations here. Because um, I know he's going to be a problem. But he's not yet. Gonna keep the ball out of reach for now. I'd kind of like to gain control back here, but it's tricky. Uh, let's have a look here. You should have a two dice there. Okay, there's that double skull I was... Okay, there's that quad skull. Oof, this could be a swing. So this is what you're always... At. This is, this is the, the risk of greed. Now that now that wasn't greed, that was sensible. But that's what you're worried about when uh, when you go for those. Like I don't know if it would have been his secondary. I think it would, right? That would have been his double skulls. So then I'd been leaving this guy free to run down, blitz my guy with nobody anywhere near him. Okay, so we've got the KO on Rabbit. Yeah, that was a really unfortunate swing for us, because we could have knocked them all down again here. I guess on the plus side, we were going against somebody that was fairly easy, like, that wasn't going to hurt us back for getting hit, so at least there was that. But now his Minotaur gets to... We would have hit this Minotaur. Knocked him over. Now instead we're losing ball, so yeah, that was pretty swingy. <laughs> more is, uh, more is, uh, you know what? I think he's still worth keeping around. That's, that's the sad truth. I mean, we'll see. But minus one movement isn't the end of the world. So can they turn the screw here? I don't think it's inevitable that they turn the screw here, because numbers are still... It's got three out. I don't know how many... We, we may be one down now, I'm not sure. Okay, so he's going to hit Moose. Now, if he can clear our team here... We do begin to run into some problems. We are not having quite as much luck with that as he is. I think we got one KO early in the half. Alright, so if you're going to run down the pitch now, we're going to chase you. And I don't think you can really outrun us. At some point, we really need to not... See, we need to, we need to knock this guy over and take him out earlier. Uh, because we're we're running into problems now. Look, we we don't have a lot of warriors left, and by not a lot, I mean one. Yeah, yeah, that's not great. All right, that's why I rolled that one there just to get rid of that useless roll. Then we come in with a sweet roll here. Oh, we knock him over. 
Oh, that's like three times in a row now I'm going for it. Okay, that's four times in a row. This guy is living a charmed, charmed life. Uh, where do we want to go now? Oh, that's bad. I guess... here? Yeah, we want to make it so it at least can't take the ball off us and then run in. Uh... We don't want to take hits if we don't have to, so... Let's do some dodging. Do I attempt a one dice here? No, we just take the hits. Yeah, I think that losing the, what was it, two or three guys there was pretty, pretty horrific. Um, and failing over and over again to knock this guy. I, I don't, I, I mean, I'll even take like a stun or something. I just want to like get him, a KO would be fine. I just, he is so easy to score with. I, I need to get rid of him. And I resisted all those rerolls. Uh, I finally succumbed this time because he's in a danger zone and it still didn't pay off, so... That is unfortunate. We kind of knew Stag was in trouble. He resists the pylon. That is weird. Actually, I think I'd <laughs> I think I'd have actually piled on that time. I guess maybe he needs the guard. I don't know that he did, though. This guy has got Yeah, he didn't need the guard. Oh, hang on. Hang on a sec. Oh, interesting. Okay. No, I thought he was doing a clever chain push to get down to this guy. Okay, so we kind of knew that was a possibility, but we wanted to make it so at least if he knocks it free, which he does, uh, he can't score this turn. That's all we've been looking for from Badger this whole time. So we're going to be looking at a double dodge turn here, as I like to call it. Wait, well, that's what I'm going to call it anyway. And I think unfortunately we have to see how many of our team are willing to get up and keep taking hits over here. I think it's kind of looking like a draw at this stage, and I think that's not a bad result. Okay, Stag was going to... he has at least been getting up a lot, so I'll give him... So we have to do this one first because it's a 2 plus, and then a 2 plus with a reroll, which is so much more likely than that one, and we need to at least attempt to make the ball. Oh, that's super, super bad. Well, there's not much you can do about that. Had we have blitzed, that probably would have been a... <laughs> past the... You know what? That would have been okay. Yeah, we'd have passed the dodge, and then we'd have been able to reroll the dub skulls. Okay, so it worked out from that time on dub. Hang on. He's... He's taken some brave decisions here, considering, like, he's got a potential scoring chance. Like, that was a... I know he's got block. Fair enough. But the reroll, like, if he rolls those double skulls... Which I don't think he has. But if he did... Disaster. So I think he's just trying to remove, like he's trying to get us down to a concession here, but we do have two plus uh, KO rolls. Like he's going to try and score and then, hang on, a, what? 
Are you just going to run in and grab it? Why wouldn't you blitz this guy out the way and score? This this is such a confusing team. I mean, he's got a lot of wins. Surely he's going to try it. Okay, he is. And he's going to succeed. Okay. <laughs> this is a whole new level of like, what? This does not deserve to happen. Oh, there's 2 plus uh, KO rolls not paying off for us. Those 4 plus KO rolls though, pretty good. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so he still has 9. We did nothing there. Uh, let's see. What's the plan here? I mean, the plan is this is probably a draw. Do we still try and score, though? I mean... Yeah, I think we do. This is risky, but... I mean, it's a risky game, isn't it? It's Blood Bowl. There's a... Okay, that's not a bad kick. Uh, alright, so... Very nice. Not very nice. Uh, that is not the safest cage ever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oosh. Well, I mean, what chaos? What did we expect? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these guys could score. But the guy I want to give the ball to could not. Interesting. I can't put him one down. Or I can't put him one up because then that opens up the hole. Okay, so we're going to go for the old double handoff here. Looking at a 50-50. Yeah. That's a fumble. There we go. Solid. Let's kill some stuff. Oh, I'm not going to end up where I want to be here. <laughs> Come on, Stag, go out on a blaze of glory. That's kind of a blaze of glory, let's face it. So yeah, the secret here is, is this guy is not the key here, it's these guys. I don't think he can make a way that it's physically impossible to score, but he can make it incredibly unlikely. Which should be enough. 
but I don't think he's worrying about scoring himself here. Like, he's got to put a lot of resources in stopping us scoring. I mean, I guess he could charge this guy down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He could charge that guy down. But it's one of his more mobile guys that could help out over here in an important way. Okay, so this should be our first scoring threat out of the way. You want to put in one of these two spots so he can't still score, really. Oh, thick skull doing doing work there. Could legitimately put this guy as down as a scoring threat, but I think no, he is. Yeah, is he? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, no, not yet. He needs to go another space. He did. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking chain push. Um. If I put this guy here, then I can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, into here, down this guy, push this guy away, which gives me up there. Yeah, I think that's our best bet, honestly. Uh, it, revol it involves a 3 plus 2 plus from here, and then two 2 pluses from here. But I don't see really a better option. Uh, we'll bring this guy up, just to act as a, you know, blocker in case things go wrong. Which they probably will at the first... Okay, he did that bit. We didn't really achieve this at all. Oy, yay, yay, yay. So, I think we're going... I think we have to now go here, here. It's not what we wanted to do. But I think it still gives us our best chance. And then we go in first, and then we go up and throw. Oh. Guys, I think we deserve that, honestly. I think surviving through all of this claw... Claw pomming, we deserved a little something. We got a draw out of it, I think. Shenanigans aside. So yeah, yeah, obviously we were gonna, that was a 3+, plus. that was a 3+, plus, 3+, plus, 3+, plus. not all the rounds of possibility, to be honest. Um, but it would have been a lot nicer, had we have, would that have actually, would that have actually worked? I don't know if what I was doing was going to make sense anyway, I think I might have had to come in from the other side. So maybe that was the best result in the end. <laughs> oh, hair. You gotta love hair. Like, first turn, death. Last turn, death. Hair has finally paid the price. That's what that's what you get for trying to win as well, because, like, we could have just, you know, 
like blitzed somebody and ran away. But we tried for a result. And, you know, we paid for it. I'm, I am kind of surprised more people don't hate Murder Chaos. I think anybody that plays agility teams hates them. I think stuff like... I feel like players like Orcs and Dwarfs hate them because they undo all the good work from having like tactically adept sort of setup teams. Alright. Oh man, if he pulls off the shenanigans... Uh, yeah, that's gonna really suck. I mean, the catch is going to be fairly easy here. It's the throw that's the problem. This this would be this would be a very painful. But honestly, not super surprising. Okay, it's going to work. It is going to work. I couldn't mark him up, really. I guess I could have tried to bring this guy down. This is a classic doing the one GFI to- okay. <laughs> Justice has been served. No, I honestly felt like a draw was the right result there. Well, what a game. And we got a 1. Uh, that's actually more important right now because we are uh, down a few players. Um, Dove got man of the match. I don't... I guess he's going to have to be the new generation of... of guys. Because... hair is no more. After... Uh, Amazing career. I don't think we can even... This is a sad thing. I don't think you can even look at hair anymore. I think once they're dead, they're just deleted from existence. So I don't think I can even... Um, I don't think I can even look at him. Yeah, the armor breaks, unsurprisingly, a bit more in their favor. We really needed to... I mean, we needed to knock over that blodgy agility for guy, but we couldn't manage it, and... Um, it very, very nearly cost us a draw. It might have cost us a win as well. I don't know. Because he wouldn't have had that guy down there to do that outrageous ignoring a blitz and just running around our player and picking up the ball in, in the, t I don't even know what that was. Um, but anyway, yeah. Hare had a pretty good career, all, all told. Um, I guess his successor is going to be Skunk. Um, although I don't think he's going to be quite as nasty. I don't know that he'll... It's tricky. Uh, the tricky thing is... He already has a skill that we wouldn't necessarily want him to have now, which is Tail. So it's going to take him... Uh, I don't think we're going to get in the full Mighty Blow piling on. At best, we're going to get Mighty Blow Claw, I think. Oh, he got a double. Ay ay ay. Um, boy, this is not who I would have chosen to get a double on, as per usual. Um, you'd also like to get jump up on a player like this, but he is not a player like this yet. This is more kind of like wanting to be a diving tackle now. Or even a sidestep. Or dodge, even. Oh, I don't, I just don't know. So maybe we don't make this our new killer. Maybe we breed a whole new, a whole new killer player. Maybe we get dodge. 
and then like sidestep and make just make this guy super annoying for elf teams or agility teams in general i think we do that that's pretty nice So, toad or <laughs> maybe rabbit becomes the new hare. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on how people level up. Uh, starting with the block is pretty nice. Uh, I can afford a new... We're gonna... We're gonna hold on to Boar. Uh, despite his horrific stats now. Uh, I think this makes him a... What, like a bad... Black Orc at this stage? Definitely a bad Chaos Warrior. But not bad enough to sack, I don't think. With the Block of Mighty Blow and the Tail. I think he's still worth holding on to until... Like, if he lost another armor, or if he lost a strength... For sure, Zs. But movement and edge you can kind of work around because he just wants to mostly stand on the front line anyway. So, um, yeah, our record continues. I will buy in a new player for the next game. We'll at least have a full team. Um, but yeah, losing hair. Look how much, look at what our team value is suddenly looking at for the next game. I think we're on like 1900 for this game. Thanks for watching, that was probably a long game. It, it was certainly long in my head, that was stressful every time they hit you with that Mighty Blow Claw, you're just cringing, waiting for the death, and uh, twice, we got the death. Uh, oh, let's have a quick look, I wonder if you can actually retroactively look at, um, I know Hair had a, the player was not found, sad times. So we won't be able to look at... I think that's kind of a sad thing. I think you should be able to have like a Hall of Fame for your team. Um, where you could look at players that have either died or... I mean, players can technically retire. It's not going to happen in this short league, but in the Perpetual League, they can eventually retire. I can't remember what triggers it. Um, but yeah, just to not be able to look back on the stats for a player that you've had for you know, forever is, is a little bit sad. But we all have fond memories of Hare. He's, he really started to come into his own once he got piling on, even though he often didn't actually need it. Just just being that kind of thumper situation was uh, was pretty cool. Uh, now we have no teeth at all, currently. So maybe we, we start blitzing with the Minotaur for a bit? Uh, see if we can get him leveled up? We'll see. Depends what we play. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you for the next one. Bye for now.